Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. So uh, yesterday I released the first mail call uh, uh, video uh, out of a set of three. I um, I recently uh, ordered 30 items on a AliExpress uh, sale, uh, and the first 10 items I showed you yesterday. I've got two more bags to go of 10 items each. So today we're going to do another bag. This is it here. So we'll be going through that together. Um, I'll, I'll pop you over the, the bench and we'll um, uh, have a look at what's in the bag. I wanted to tell you, uh, if you watched yesterday's video, you might have seen I got this little uh, magnetic tray. Um, and I also got these um, iron stickers. So you can stick uh, a piece of metal to a surface and then you can stick magnets to it. Um, so I, uh, I decided to keep my, uh, my magnetic tray uh, stuck to the front of my drawer there. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I, I am uh, pleased to have, uh, to have this little metallic tray. It's for uh, screws obviously when, you, when you're uh, working on a, um, a project. So let's jump over to the bench and have a look at our next 10 items and then um, that, that, uh, there'll, there'll be another video like this one coming out later as well. So let's hop over and, and see what we've got. Here we are on the bench and this is the, uh, the first cab off the rank. Uh, it's a, um, it's a deeper, uh, uh, drill bit. So, uh, so I'm popping that. There's this weird gritty kind of dusty kind of stuff on all of these. Uh, anyway, look, it's a uh, it's got a, a hex bit at the back there, and then uh, it just it's for uh, it's for uh, taking burrs off off things. So you can obviously uh, put it into your uh, drill and. Uh, and deburr things. You just stick it in there and it'll deburr it. So that's a, a good little uh, bit of equipment to have. Uh, we'll think about where we keep that. We'll think about that later. <coughs> so what's next? How about this? Uh, okay. Um, precision screwdriver. There we go. So uh, See if I can get that open. There it goes. All right. So, uh, oh, that's that's a nice touch. It's got a. Uh, you can use it um, sideways as well. Let's put that in there, and yeah, cool. And it's got a um, an extension. Wonderful. There we go. Oh. Okay. Um, so, all sorts of little interesting bits and pieces in there. Very nice. All right. Now, where will that go? I think that goes that way. Yes. And this one? Uh, which way do you reckon? That seems to work, doesn't it? All right, that's good. I'll put that in the toolbox. Very good. Now, some brushes. So uh, it's uh, it's not metal. It's uh, some sort of uh, plastic or vinyl or nylon or something. So uh, that's great. I got uh, a five pack. I think it was. There we go. Yeah, these are great little brushes. All right, good. And they've got holes on the back of them, so I'll be able to um, put those up on the. Uh, on the pegboard. I'll do that later. Now, here's some uh, cotton buds. I've actually got a whole box full of them, um, but I got these ones because they were cheap, and eventually these will run out. And when they do, I'll reload it with this, the cheap ones. These are actually good ones that you can use for cleaning your ears. 
so uh, yep, that's that's good. I'll just keep them down here for now. And what do we got here? Uh, just some screws, a good old fashioned hundred pieces. Uh, uh, 4.2 by 16 millimeter, 100 pieces. Yeah, good looking screws. Not sure exactly how I'll store them though. I'll think about that later. Okay, and uh, paintbrushes. Uh, and this was a mistake. I, I actually uh, I meant to order. Uh, different different ones. Uh, so now I've got 50 uh, fine uh, paint brushes. Uh, if I had my time over, I probably wouldn't have done that anyway. Now, let's see what's in this one. What have we got? It's all taped up. Ah, oh, it's uh, it's these guys. I think it'll be another five of them. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright. Do you think I have enough? Actually, uh, I was I was I was just going to get uh, two extras, but there was a five pack, and it was cheap, so I I got heaps of them. Now I've got snips everywhere, and uh, this is like Plato or something, and this is P C or something. Um, but they basically look like they've come out of the same factory, don't they? And they're both called Model 170. Model 170. So, uh, okay. Pretty happy with that. I've got six of these babies now. Uh, so I'll have one on every bench. Ah, uh, now. This network cable tester. Um... It, it has an extra function, so uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of this. I'll do that separately. Um, so stand by for the for the unboxing video for the network cable tester. We'll do that uh, separately. Ah, looks like a kit of some description. Starter kit for Uno R3 mini breadboard. So this is an Uno with a whole bunch of. Um, of components. So, uh, what am I going to do? I might just start moving some of this stuff away. <sighs> and I've got a project box here. So, let's pop this baby out of its bag and into the project box. There's this weird, gritty stuff on all of this. I don't know. Must have got dirt in it or something, I don't know. Just weird, gritty stuff. Alright, well we're not going to need the bag. I might keep that sticker though. I'll put it in my, uh, in my scrapbook. I, uh, I just recently consolidated my scrapbook, so I've, uh, I've got a bunch of them now. Uh, six six volumes. 
my uh, my notes, my lab my lab scrapbook is up to volume seven now. <clears throat> I got a little uh, breadboard, got some blue LEDs, a couple of push button switches, and some CDS cells. Very good. We've got a couple of resistors that have been knocked well out. Look at them, they've been hammered. So uh, we'll file them. And a uh, USB A type A to type B. Very good. So uh, got some DuPont uh, mail to mail. There we go. I'll file those. Here's our LEDs again. So got a bunch of LEDs, three colours there, uh, a bunch of resistors. So we'll uh, we'll clean them. I don't know if you noticed yesterday. I published on Elliot's Extras the Great Resistor Clean of 2024. I spent some time the other day cleaning my uh, resistors. Oh, this is a um, an, uh, uh, a nine volt to DC. Very good. And this will be the Uno. Um, it'll be a knockoff. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got. All right. Well, this is him. Doesn't have any branding on it at all. I think they said it was an R3 though. Is, is that what they said? Uh, starter kit for Uno, R3, mini breadboard, LED, jumper wire, button for Arduino. Uh, okay, great. So this is an Uno R3. And they, uh, and they gave us a bunch of pin headers. Very nice. So, uh, what are we going to do with our blue LEDs? They're pretty small. I wonder if they're uh, three millimeters or what? I don't know. Yeah. And got a couple of uh, CDS cells in there. And then just some push buttons by the looks of it. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, uh... I'll I'll, uh, I'll clean those resistors and and file them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these blue LEDs. <coughs> oh, sorry, not blue. They're multicolored. Uh, this is my drawer of three millimeter LEDs. Um, I'm not sure. They're not three millimeters, are they? They're much bigger than that. But uh, what do we reckon? Are they the same? They kind of are. Kind of. So there's uh, four blue ones they gave me. And the other ones seem to have five. And are they the same colour? They're not quite the same, but they're about right, so we can put them in there. And green LEDs. In there. And then there's the red LEDs as well. So that's the LEDs file. Now I might just uh, pop these out. You're going to have uh, the CDS cells. I'll just put them in the CDS cell box, which is over on the, on the booth. So that's. Uh, That's this box here, um, the photoresistor. I've got uh, a number of them uh, actually attached uh, to, a, to a breakout board. Uh, some of the uh, Arduino kits ship them like that. And then I've got a bunch of them that are just uh, 
freestanding as well. You can just see them uh, there like that. So I've got two more of those for this uh, box here. And then there's just the buttons. Uh, I think uh, I think it's time to institute a uh, a buttons miscellaneous buttons uh, drawer, and we'll start it off with these these guys. So it's uh, two green, two white, two black. And one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. Six buttons, three colors. And um, I might just see. I, uh, I have this box over here called Unknown Parts, and it's just bits and pieces that I've salvaged. And I remember I threw some buttons in here just the other day just the one button by the looks of it so uh, there's just bits and pieces in here that I don't know what they are obviously those are some LEDs there's a couple of ceramic capacitors down there um, some buzzers I don't know if they're active or passive it's just a bit of a junk box there's a, uh, a 1k uh, potentiometer anyway that's what I was looking for here is this button so we've got that there. Now that's unknown parts. This, I'm just going to call it buttons. So let's uh, make, make that label together. Okay. Uh, buttons. Buttons. So we'll just print that label. Chop off that bit of junk and peel him off. Right. And we'll just label this guy buttons. All right, so there's our, our buttons drawer. I'll just uh, I'll go on file here. Now these resistors I'll, uh, I'll, I'll clean them and file them. They'll just go in the component drawers um, so I can just leave them here for now and uh, <clears throat> that's a, a type B. Uh, it takes Power and USB. Okay, great. And they gave us the uh, the nine volt uh, clip and uh, some pin pin header. I might just uh, file the pin header. I'll uh, I'll come back to these last little pieces uh, later on. I'll I'll, uh, I'll just leave that there actually. Ah, here we go. Now this. Here's just some more um, 150mm uh, nylon zip ties. I just got them because, uh, you know, you can never have too many of them. So this is my uh, bag. They should be the same size. I believe they are. That looks about right to me. 3x150, 3x150. Looks good, good, good. So we'll just uh, pop them in there. And and them in there as well. So that was just uh, topping up my stock of, uh, of nylon zip ties. I, uh, I do go through them. I actually got some uh, uh, Velcro ones, which are uh, probably a better choice for things that aren't permanent fixtures. 
Aha! Uh -huh. And here we have a bag of capacitors. So, uh, there we go. I'll, uh, I'll sort these out uh, later on. They're just going to go into the component drawers. Um, how many? We've got 24 types. There you go. Well, that's good. And put something here. Oh, no, it's more O rings. I uh, I didn't think I was buying O-rings. I was trying to buy uh, drive belts, so I obviously got a little bit confused. Uh, anyway, now I've got a bunch of O-rings. Who knows if I'll ever have any use for them? These ones are uh, different sizes compared to the other one that I got uh, that came in the other package. So. Uh, Looks like I'm going to have plenty of O-rings. Yep. Alright, fine. So that's your O-rings. And what else have we got? Oh, this is good. This is uh, drill bits. So uh, look at that. Heaps of them. Uh, might as well take them out uh, of the bag. And same with this one. There we go. Alright. So, we've got various sizes. Oh, look at those, those are tiny. Ah. Now, I'm not sure what the different colors uh, mean. I don't know what the different colors mean. I'll, uh, I'll look in the documentation and see if I can figure it out. But look at that. So, uh... These are my drill bits. Um, I, uh, I have some very small ones in there, so uh, I guess there's no reason not to just chuck them all in uh, as they are. So I've got plenty of drill bits now, don't I? Very good. Some gritty stuff that got everywhere. So what are we doing with here? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that natty? Huh. So, uh, how are these held in? It's not really clear. Oh, I see. Very clever. So basically you just pull them around and pull it down and then it pops out at the bottom. There we go. Alright. Well, I guess I got another set of screwdrivers. Fair enough. So what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24. 24 bits. And a little pouch. Fascinating. Huh. And, uh, oh no, it looks like I've got two of them. What have we got? Is it the same? I'm not sure. They're not quite the same, are they? No, they're not the same at all. Interesting. Um, they are uh, labelled. So, uh, <coughs> 24 is rather a lot, isn't it? I um, I won't do it with you now. I might do an Elliot's Extras. What I'll do is I'll try and uh, marry these guys up and I'll figure out uh, if they're actually two sets of this, basically the same thing or if they're different or, or what's really going on here. I'm a bit uh, confused. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what's happened there. So I'll I'll uh, I'll I'll, I'll uh, write write down all of the model names because they do have model names. Let me show you here. Um, this is a uh, 3.0, so that they've got that they they've got specs. So that'll be a three millimeter flathead 3.0. That's what that'll be. Anyway, okay, interesting. Um, I will do uh, an Elliot's Extras video uh, covering these um, screws. So uh, if you uh, if you want to know uh, about these screw screwdrivers, um, then you know uh, keep a watch out for an extra Elliot's Extras video. Um, and also, I'm going to be doing that cable tester as an unboxing. Now, what did I do with those? Uh, yeah. Now, holy smoke, look at that. I think this might have been where the dusty stuff came from. I'm not sure. What am I going to do here? So. I'll tell you what, I'll just, uh, let's have a look at what's in here. Fascinating. Some of these I just have no idea what they are. Dremel bit set, so this is all attachments for the rotary device. But I can't believe how many there are. I think this was good buying. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it wasn't much. Look at that! Wow! Wow! This is insane. Now this is the bit that that uh, that you put these sanding discs on. Let's put that on there. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, let's give us some more room, huh? Now, heaps of these sandpaper bits. Wow.
Oh, there's some just stock drill bits as well. Man, this is amazing. I'm amazed. It's just so much stuff. Hey, look, they gave us a little uh, um, sharpener so you can sharpen stuff. It's awesome. Wow, look at all these grindstones. Oh, the UPS just paid for itself. Did you notice the little power spike? Wow, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. You can see a lot of uh, gr grit and such. Might just get a, uh, a brush. Wow. I don't know what that is. Some sort of polishing thing, I guess. A couple of chucks. Chucks everywhere. Wow. It's like the mother load, this thing just endless. I think uh, I'm going to need to uh, expand. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, my drawers because there's just so many different types of things here. Chucks, 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 chucks. Wow. All right, so that's for the little sandpapers. And that, that one's for the big sandpapers. All sorts of stuff in here. Alright. You can see all the cruft. I'm glad I put that bit of paper towel down. Alright, well, I'll just clean this up. So, I'm going to go sandpaper, grinding, drilling, chucks. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to call these. Uh, a bit of cloth here. I'm just going to give some of these things a bit of a wipe. Look at that, huh? This is easily the best bit of kit I got in this order. It's amazing. Right. 
Now, those all go together. And we've got buff, buffing is there. It's all buff, buff, buff. So it's some sort of buff thing. I don't know really what that is. Now these are the chucks so that you can adapt your uh, rotary tool to uh, different size bits in this kit. Now I'm not sure what they mount to, if it's the same things, maybe it is, I don't know. And there's your sanding bits, it's your buff bits. Now, I'll put them together in sanding as well. That's cutting over there. Cutting. I'm not sure what we'll do with cutting. Alright. Wow, this is the mother load. Alright, so we're kind of getting there. Uh, all of those will go together. And then uh, the little tool and the chucks, they can go together. And there's some sort of... I don't know what those bits are. There's this one and there's this one. Do you want to see? Maybe I can show you. Let's have a close look, huh? Why not? I'll just uh, need to turn on the microscope. Is it going to come up? There it goes. Now, let's, uh, let's take a look. So, well, we'll have a look at them eventually, but not right now. But the two things that we want to check out are these two. Now, there's some um, bog standard drill bits, so we can file them straight away. This is our drill bits from earlier. These can just go in there. Um, that's fine. I've got this one here that's called miscellaneous drill bits. Um, so, okay. Well, we're going to need how many drawers? Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Well, how am I going to do this? Hmm. 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 I'm not sure. Uh, uh, let me see about the chunks. So I've got this here, it's labeled chuck, um, and I've got these chucks here are basically just extras of the ones that I've got here. So, uh, What are we going to do? They're basically the same. Uh, and there's a, a little tool. What am I going to do? I'm not sure. Uh, not sure. Is 
there's no reason not to keep all the, the chucks in a little chuck container. <sighs> okay. Let me just show you some of the other stuff that I've got. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so these are called uh, a diamond burr set. Okay. Um, so uh, these ones can go in there. There's no reason not to do that. They're basically just the same. Alright, well that's good. So, uh, did I show you these ones as well? Uh, did you want to see what was in here? So this is uh, just a, a full set of diamond burr bits. And then this is a uh, tungsten carbide burr set. i got two lots of those. Uh, so that's good. I guess the next thing to show you is this, which is um, counter uh, countersink drill set. So it's for uh, countersinking uh, holes for uh, countersunk screws. Uh, and it seems to me like that's what these are. So it seems to you like that as well. Uh, this is HSS M10 by 15. This drawer is just labeled miscellaneous drill bits. But these are all um, countersink bits. So let's put all the countersink bits together in the countersink bit box. Okay. So uh, there's no more countersink bits here or here. Very good. Now Okay, we've got more of these. This is labeled Rotary Blade. Okay, well they're, they're obviously the same. Uh, okay. Whole bunch of different uh, bits and pieces. Look at those blades everywhere. Blade, blade, blade. Look at that guy, he's a monster. Wow. So, uh, what are we going to do? There's blades here, blades here, blades there. Well, so... Blades, blades, blades. Some of those, and there's more of those. And a bunch of those now.
Yep. Just little blades, blades, blades. Look at that, there's a full set there. Alright. I got a lot of these guys. And uh, so there's various um, uh, bits. I don't know. Uh, these cut, I suspect. Uh, and there's attachments and such. I'm going to put all of those in there. So this is um, cutting. Rotary cutting. It's another rotary cutting bit. Get any more rotary cutting? There's some more rotary cutting. Now you're polishing. Okay, we don't uh, need to keep the drill bits in here. The drill bits can just go here for now. That'll be fine. Up, oh, there's some more. Uh, all right. So I think we're done with cutting. Yes, we're done with cutting. Very good. So this is going to be the cutting drawer. There's saws and then there's other sorts of saws and grinders at the back there. So that's uh, that's good. And then chucks. They're a bit niche, aren't they? So there's polishing. That's polishing. We've got a couple more burrs to go. Okay, now these guys, that's cutting again, so we'll put them in the cutting box. Now, uh, that's two more burr bits, so that's good. Now I found this, they're just called rotary brush, so I think that can include all of these ones as well. I don't know what we're going to do with that guy. What do you reckon it is? I don't know. Uh, I'll put it in brush, why not? Okay, that's good. So that's brushes. That's another grinder. And there's this is a um, it's like a grindstone for sharpening knives and such. So that's uh, the brushes all done. <clears throat> so what are we gonna do now? We've got, maybe we should just use three. We'll have grinding, sanding, and buffing. Or maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. What about uh, if we pop one of these in here, we might be able to use the back for buff. And the front for sanding. Sanding and buffing are kind of similar, aren't they? All right. 
That's fairly tidy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this little grindstone. I might just keep him on the bench. Why not? And maybe just we can do the same thing with the... Uh, fit in there. So these, I might just get myself a couple of those uh, adapters. Uh, I'm not sure um, how you mount these. I'll just uh, see if we can get this open. It's a flat head. All right. There we go. And there's two washers on him. How am I going to get that off? I've got a pair of... What do I do with my tweezers? There they are. Alright. Now, let's take this guy and we'll try on the grey one here, put that through there and then we'll put on our other washer and then we'll screw it into this guy. Okay, now we'll just tie him up. That looks pretty good to me. I reckon that's how we use these particular grinders. So we've got one attached there. Um, we got some spares. Let's attach the pink one as well, huh? Um, and then. Uh, oh, and there's a there's a great big grey one. There's only one of those. All right, so this one we're going to put the uh, the pink one on. Then we'll have a full set. So we'll do uh, pink here. Go, pink's on, and we'll put our washer on. There we go, and screw this guy on. There we go, and we'll just tighten him up a bit. Very good. So there's one pink one, and there's one grey one. And then there's just this guy here, he's a loner. So we might as well set him up as well. We do have plenty of these attachment bits. How many are in there? It's like quite a few. Is that going to go through there? Yep. And uh, let's get the uh, other washer on. And we'll screw this guy in. All right. Well, 
So we've got sanding, polishing, and then we've got grinding. So let's fill up grinding. And I suppose that I can put the chucks and the... See, do I want to keep the chucks in the... I'm just not sure. I kind of want to keep this case. I don't know. And we've got this little... Oh, I see. It's got a screwdriver on the back. Ah... Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, what will we do? I'll just show you the uh, <coughs> the two burr bits that we're going to have a look at under the microscope. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. These look pretty well done. So let's see if we can get that scope over here. So I'll just uh, flip you over. There we go. All right. So let me just uh, flip you over there. So, uh, yeah, I'm just not really quite sure what that is. It looks like some sort of Remo or something, doesn't it? And then there's this other one as well. I don't know exactly what that is. If you, you know what these bits are called, I'd be very happy to hear from you. I'm not quite sure what they are. I don't think they're burr bits like the other ones, so I don't really know. Um... I'll just put them in the back of the uh, of the grinding box. I'll just keep them up the back there. So I'm not quite sure how I'll label those. <clears throat> anyway, we spent quite enough time on this particular package. That was a really big one, wasn't it? Anyway, that's all uh, all sorted now. I'll uh, figure out how to label those uh, various drawers that we just filled up. So we're nearly there. Ah, oh, here we go. There's a great big honking brush. My, uh... Alright. Well, that's, uh... That's very coarse grain. I'd, I'd be surprised if I ever had a use for a brush like this. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's sharp. All right, fair enough. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll file that with the other brushes. I've, I've got a bunch of brushes now, steel brushes. Okay, very good. All right, well, this is some sort of connector set. as well tip it in there. So how do these work? Oh I see. There's different types. It's basically just for filling up holes. Fascinating. There's all different types. 
Wow. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, if I ever need to fill a hole that's about that big, I've got a lot of options. Go over to the welcome camp. Oh, no, you haven't been able to see because I left you. Uh, here's me in my, uh, my messy uh, angle brackets. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I uh, fail. Anyway, uh, can't put the t toothpaste back in the in the container. So uh, yeah, I I'll pop you over to the over to the uh, to the farewell cam, and we'll wrap this up. And that's a wrap. So uh, uh, I'll I'll clean up this mess. So I got a lot of that dust on the thing. I need to give that a good clean. Uh, so I'll clean that, and I'll I'll get rid of these dusty old things. And I'll, I've got a few new boxes to label. Um, so there you go. Uh, what did I think of this load? Well, ob obviously I think it was quite obvious that the the, um, the the rotary drill bits and pieces that I got, that was that was a big score for this one. I thought that was great. There was so many. We got uh, sanding and grinding and cutting and polishing and buffing and diamond burr bits and drill bits it was just epic wasn't it so yeah that was definitely my uh, my favorite um and of course the the least favorite of these silly little uh barbecue cleaning bricks i shouldn't have bought them that was a waste of two dollars and uh yeah but um happy to have the angle brackets got a bunch of screws got those two screwdrivers i will do uh, a video on elliot's extras comparing those two screwdrivers Let's see if we can get to the bottom of that and figure out what we've got. Um, and I got a couple of uh, brushes, so I'll file those up there on the uh, on the pegboard so that they're together. If I ever have something that needs a coarse brush, um, yeah. So uh, that concludes this video. There'll be another one coming out tomorrow with the next ten items from AliExpress, which will complete our three bag series. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, thanks very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe Just going to record myself cleaning up this uh, uh, Bench look at that the the, the screws have got uh, malformed ends so I'm just going to try uh, Cleaning those up a bit. Um, this might really ruin my uh, my clippers. We'll see at the end how much damage we did. Yeah, I think I've really ruined my uh, my clippers. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. Well, hopefully I'm not missing too many. Now let's see how much damage we did. Uh, not too bad. But you can see. What if I uh, put you under the microscope again? I'll uh, have to remember to take you off the micro. What are we doing? There we go. Yeah, you can see uh, the holes. Do you see? You can see the blue through the the, the holes. So uh, yeah, I think these are. These are not the good snips. These are the rough snips. I'll have to label them somehow. All right, I'll throw you back over here. Now I'm just going to uh, clean this, and then we can have a look at uh, 
have a look at our, uh, our screwdriver situation. So uh, <coughs> that'll do for now.